and slaney, but tomorrow things will probably be different. Yeah, we are definitely going to have clouds in the forecast tomorrow. I'm sure we'll be hearing from folks. We've been prepping you all week long though for rain over the weekend. Boy, have we had a gorgeous week. Like you said, Brianna, lots of sunshine temperatures around 80 degrees out there today and yesterday. Shame on you if you didn't get outside and have a little bit of fun. All right, well, we do have clouds and rain in our weekend forecast. Temperatures aren't too bad out there right now. 65 in Winston-Salem, 66 in Greensboro and Burlington. A chilly 56 right now in Martinsville. But look at the highs today. We've got in the low to mid 80s from Mount Airy to North Wilkesboro, even Burlington up to 84 this afternoon. These temps in the coming days are more in line with what is normal for October. So we're down to 70 for a high tomorrow, Saturday, close to 70 on Sunday. We've got clouds tomorrow, which should be a dry day. Few showers tomorrow night, especially overnight. Occasional, mainly light rain on Saturday with perhaps a few moderate downpours. But the real heavy, steady rain right now looks to hold off until Sunday. You can see all the cloud cover out there right now, and it will be with us throughout the day tomorrow as uh, moisture is going to be moving in. First clouds, the air is going to get a little stickier, and then we're going to have the rain coming in. You can already see the wet weather right now over Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. So we've got kind of an easterly flow off the Atlantic tomorrow. That'll keep our temperatures down some, and it will keep some low clouds around. So a high of near 70 for both the Triad and the Foothills tomorrow afternoon with mostly cloudy skies. Our temperatures in the mountains are into the upper 60s by late tomorrow as well. From the mountains to the beaches, this map shows you tomorrow afternoon. So it's pretty gray. We're keeping the rain down to the south, but then we're going to start to see a few showers kind of creeping in from the southwest. So this is around Saturday morning with occasional light to moderate rain on Saturday. Shouldn't be a total washout. Not going to be a great day, but it wouldn't cancel all of your plans. Sunday right now looks a lot wetter. Our rainfall total should be about a quarter to a half of an inch on Saturday. We'll be adding to that, of course, on Sunday. Heavy rains here, some 5 to 10 inches of rain is expected in that area there over Louisiana as well as Texas. A category three storm right now with 120 mile per hour winds expected to make landfall as a major hurricane tomorrow afternoon. You can see some of the forecast rainfall totals there. Also looking at the strong winds moving into that same area there over Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even into our area. We'll see winds kind of pick up. It'll be a little breezy on Sunday. That north northwest movement at 12 miles an hour right now. When the storm makes landfall tomorrow and then pushes its way north into the Tennessee and Ohio valleys. That landfall is going to break a record from 1916 for the most continental U.S. named storm landfalls in a season. We're sitting at nine right now. Here they are, and Delta would be 10. So you can see the Gulf Coast in particular being hit hard by the storms. And of course, it was Cristobal first. That was a tropical storm. Then Laura, the Category 4 storm. Delta likely going to take a similar path to that. Marco kind of kissing Louisiana. And then we're looking at Sally as a Category 2. And then Beta there moving along the Texas coast as a tropical storm. You can see the rain coming in here with Delta on Saturday. That's Saturday morning into late Saturday. It'll come in waves by Sunday. Some of the heavier rains here. Now the farther north and west this track continues to shift on Saturday and Sunday. That is going to impact our rainfall totals. It may mean less rain on Sunday, but with a front coming in on Tuesday, it could prolong the amount of days that we have rain. So we will watch this for you very closely.